Hi, I'm Werner Treptow, an associate professor of computational chemistry at the University of Brasilia and PI of computational and theoretical biology lab. In the following, we present an overview of recent findings and future directions of research in the field of computer simulations of voltage gated cation channels. By opening or closing the airport, cation channels allow ions to flow selectively across the cell membrane, inducing a voltage pulse used for transmitting signals in muscle cells and neurons. In our lab, we use computer simulations to address three fundamental questions. How do channels activate? How do they conduct ions? And finally, how is the conduction process modified by the action of ligands? Answer to these questions are likely to contribute to new advances in pharmacology and medicine, especially in design therapies related to channel dysfunctions, including syndrome and paralysis. So far, this research has been part of a broad scientific goal involving students, postdocs, and other PIs from different labs, especially Professor Klein and Dr. Torek from the Nancy University. Hi, I'm Cristiano Amaral, PhD student in CTBL. I'm using computer simulations to study the mechanism of voltage gated ion channels. During activation, it's well established that one specific protein region, the voltage sensor, triggers the gating of the channel in response to membrane polarization. Previously, by simulating the X-ray structure of Cave 1.2, a voltage-gated potassium channel, we have provided an atomistic description for the sensing process. The recent appearance of the X-ray structure of NAVAB, a voltage-gated sodium channel, provides us a unique opportunity to extend our structural knowledge over the entire family. On the other hand, the ionic conduction requires hydration of the conduction pathway, such as that encountered in the open KV1 structure. One key step of the process is the flow of ions across a selectivity filter. In K channels, studies accomplished by different labs show that on passing across the filter in the preferred Nakon mechanism, a single file of 2K ions in waters alternate occupancy of four possible sites. Hi, I'm Letícia Stock, graduate student from CTB Lab. I'm using voltage clamp simulations to study the conduction properties of NAVAB. Far of being trivial, this is one key challenge given that conduction and selectivity must be highly specific among different channels. Our previous simulations showed the NAVAB filter large enough to lodge two hydrated cations, raising up the possibility that NAVAB employs a knock-on mechanism involving, however, a distinct binding mode of ions to the filter. Hi, I'm Kai Souza, and here in CTBL, I'm using docking and free energy calculations to study the binding of ligands on ion channels. Recently, we have applied simulations and experiments to identify anesthetic binding sites in K channels. Following similar strategies, we plan to identify anesthetic binding sites on sodium channels. Well, that's it for now. If you want to know more about this fascinating topic of research, we invite you to read our perspective paper in JPC Letter. JPC has been a great scientific resource for many researchers from different fields. Thanks for watching our video.